Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be working more on the car program. Now I haven't exactly uh, thinked over the titles for these yet but if this is titled uh, part 7 for the car program then the inheritance and more on inheritance are part 5 and 6. I don't want to confuse you um, going from part 4 to fart, fart. <laughs> I don't want to confuse you going from part 4 to part 7 uh, when the inheritance ones in between are actually part 5 and 6. Um, so let's go ahead and overload the constructor for sports car. So the default constructor um, for sports car is going to be the same as our car which is sets the color to red, speed to 0, and the number of doors to 5. Now what we want to do is override that. So to do this, all you have to do is just type sub new. You don't have to use the overrides keyword. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just create a constructor, and it will use that instead of the one inherited from the uh, what's called the parent class. So car right here is the parent of sports car. So what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and set the color equal to red. We'll set the... Uh, let's find doors, number of doors. It's going to be equal to two because most sports cars have two doors. And, or you could count three for the trunk, but we're just going to do two to simplify it. So, what else do we have in the constructor up here? We have the speed. So, we'll set speed equal to zero. So, now that we've used this uh, default constructor, aha, uh -huh, it looks like we got. Let's just go ahead and see. We'll just leave speed the way it is because it's automatically set to zero. Because car, when it inherits car, um, it's got the private int speed, and that's going to start off at nothing or zero. So we'll just go ahead and minimize that. And now let's go ahead and add some more to our sports car class. Now, we'll just add a function that will um, get the power to weight ratio. So how we're going to do this is we are going to um, use a function. So we'll just type um, get power to weight ratio. And we'll just go ahead and uh, return some we'll, we'll create our function so we're gonna call it public function get power to weight ratio and then we will make it of type double so now what we're gonna do is we are going to return something so we will return and we're just going to divide the horsepower by the weight so we'll just convert the horsepower so C type and then we'll just type horsepower and we'll convert that to a double and then we'll divide that by the weight so we'll type weight and convert that to a double so when we divide doubles we can get a, uh, a, decim <coughs> a decimal type so we'll just go ahead and minimize that. So now let's come over here and we'll just add one more button. So we'll bring this down some. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And we'll set the text value to power slash weight. And then we'll set the name to button get power um, weight. So we'll go ahead and double click on this and we will group it with our button click events. So now what we're going to do is um, we are going to type, uh, we're going to call the get power to weight ratio uh, function in our sports car class or from our sports car object, the default sports car. So We'll come back to form1.bb and we will show a message box. 
So message box not show. And now what we're going to do is we're going to type convert dot to string. And now we're going to call default sports car dot. And now we're going to use we're going to call the weight to um, the get power to weight ratio. So dot get power to weight ratio. And we'll just put P over W ratio for the title. Okay, so now, ah, here we go. Let's take that out of there and put that over here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and run our program and see what happens. But first, we need to look at what the horsepower is going to be. So the horsepower by default is going to be equal to, let's come up here, it's going to be equal to 500 uh, since uh, we set it in our form1.vb. So the horsepower is equal to 500. So let's go ahead and run this. And we will click power over weight and we get 0 0.5 because 500 divided by 1000 is um, 0 0.5. So let's just say we have a 275 horsepower sports car go ahead and run this we can get the power to weight ratio we get 0.275 so um, go ahead and add this code if you haven't and um, once you're done with that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial where we're going to be talking about some other stuff having to do with um, inheritance and then we're going to be finishing up the car application and then we'll be moving on to other topics so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial